stall of the mind. This was another cutscene we got to see. Um, <clears throat> the remade version of it, it just looked so good. Oh no, Malika, it's uh, it's scripted. It's um, it is truly a kick in the balls. <laughs> Welcome to the Nexus. Thou canst not exit the Nexus, but each of the five arch stones will connect. So, we have died, and the Nexus has trapped our soul. You cannot escape the Nexus. However, by capturing demon souls, you can reclaim your physical body. And we've received a Nexial binding. Never steal from a dragon, Jerry. It's so annoying. Um, but yeah, literally that whole intro, I flippin' love it. It is an absolute kick in the balls. It's very much, it's kind of similar to Sekiro in that you have a first boss in Sekiro that you're meant to lose to, but you can beat him. But when you do, pfft, nothing changes. You die anyway. Um, except in Demon Souls, you get some loot. We got tons of full moon grass. We got some souls there, which will give us some early levels. Um, and then we got to see Dragon God, which is really cool. Um, in Sekiro, just, you just get your arm cut off either way. But yeah, that is something they kind of adapted there. Um, Dark, Dark Souls 1, 2 and 3, they don't really have anything like that right at the start. So I, I just really like that about Demon Souls. I think they were really onto something uh, with this. It's just like, I, these games just have their random little like kick in the balls <laughs> and it makes me laugh. I hope they make this bit less of a fanny to new players. They will be going around for ages. Uh, do you mean the the big, the five big teleportation stones? Uh, well, oh, hang on. Do you mean when they're looking for the monumental? Because, yeah. Uh, so let me explain what happened there. When we died, we left behind our human body and we're now in soul form. Our health is halved. We have this sort of translucence to us that's rendered very terribly on the PS3. I'm looking forward to seeing how that looks on the PlayStation 5. Um, but yeah, so basically we are only half of ourselves, but we can reclaim our human form and our full HP bar um, by killing a boss, basically. By killing a very strong demon. A demon that has killed a lot of other little demons and a lot of other people, basically. Uh, but there are other ways we can reclaim our physical form as well. Look how fast this thing blocks. This is some animation, this. Demon Souls be like, ha, you thought you were getting good at this game? Let me get you bonked by a dragon god. Yep, yeah, pretty much, Jess, exactly. It is, it, you kind of go, yeah, I'm the best. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Rach. Sit down, get cozy, get kindled, sit by the bonfire. I play a lot of Dark Souls. I'm playing Demon Souls tonight, which is getting remade in November. We're doing a slow run, it's a tutorial run, so if you've always sort of wanted to get into these games, this is the series for you, my friend. I got this from Build-A-Bear. I'm 29 years old. <laughs> Let's get back to the game. So. This is the Nexus, this is like your hub. So those of you who have played Bloodborne already, um, it's 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 like that. It's it's less of a hub than Firelink. Um, Medulla. Firelink again in Dark Souls 3. And it is much more like Bloodborne, where you have these um arch stones and you use them to teleport to various lands. However, unlike Bloodborne, they're all active right at the start. Apart from that one there at the back, but more more on that later. I reckon this statue back here is meant to be like sort of uh, a tribute to the Maiden in Black. So the Maiden in Black we can kind of go into uh, first of all. She is a absent. She is absent actually. Is that right? We need to... She obviously resurrected us there. 
Well, she, she greeted us as we came into the Nexus. I think we need to do a couple things before she will appear. I, I forgot that. Okay, right. Maiden in Black coming up later. <laughs> we'll chat to the Crestfallen Knight. This is a character that appears in every Souls game. There's not really a character like this in Bloodborne. But he's in every Souls game. Oh my god, I hope we find some sticky white stuff today. Perfect. Perfect, Gally. Perfect. <clears throat> So this is Crestfallen. I don't remember his name in this, but I'm sure he'll tell us. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the art stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed voluntary area. So, the, again, with the tutorials, Demon Souls is very kind. Dark Souls doesn't tell you this. The archstones were placed in the Nexus, leading to six different lands all across Boletaria. Um, They connect to those little little stones with the swords coming out of them that we saw back in the tutorial area. They all connect to like all across the world. They were entrusted to six different tribes. Um, man. Uh, sort of like dwarven kind of like butterwars. Uh, the royals in the Tower of Latria. The giants. This one's broken. The shadow men. And the oh, chieftain. These guys were kind of like um, cultists, kind of like uh, um, kind of shifty, like thieves, kind of yeah, cultists, kind of thing. I don't think that's the right word. Yeah, they're a different tribe, basically. They live in blight time. <laughs> so we've got these six stones. One of them's broken. Um, there's no lore reason as to why it's broken. Uh, we reckon, the community reckons, the developers just ran out of time to make a sixth world and chose to cut it, but for some reason kept the stone there. Um, maybe they were going to make DLC in future. What we really, really hope is that that stone, that sixth stone, um, with a kind of snowy kind of mountain giant world, uh, is going to be in the remake. Uh, that would be absolutely mind-blowing. I think I would cry. Uh, to have a new area in the remake. But I'm not going to like hold out for it. We'll, we'll see. Even if they announce that it's going to be DLC for the remake. That would be really really cool actually. There's actually video footage of the Plains DLC area. The Plains? Is that what it's called? Says. Um, was that data mined? There was something data mined and they found that it was like a snowy world or something. Or maybe it was in an interview or something. Either way it's like not in this game. Remember people saying the stone was for large ram? Uh, that is literally, this. the missing stone was the like mountain, it was like the giant tribe. Uh, let's see what he says now. You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? It's all the same. You're just another prisoner of the Nexus. We're welcome here. As long as we keep slashing up demons. <laughs> so what I really love about this game, and I'm not going to go too into it, obviously, because we're doing a full playthrough of this, but he kind of hints, he's like, why are you here? Like, why did you come here? Are you wanting to save the land or are you just wanting glory? Are you just wanting power for yourself? Did you actually come here to liberate the city? Or, you know... Are you just looking for a fight? And they're, they they expand upon that. You came uh, so on. that's repeating data. Repeating dialogue, sorry. Okay, so. Who else will we chat to in the Nexus? I'm really gutted that the Maiden in Black isn't kicking a boot. I think she'll be kicking a boot later. So this is, uh, this is Thomas. A lot of the NPCs are voiced by Scottish voice actors, which makes my heart happy. I'm Stockpile Thomas. Did I say Jester when Thomas? I meant came, Stockpile Thomas. I didn't Thomas. know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here, in the Nexus. My 
my wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. So Thomas, like, bless. Thomas does his best. Like I mentioned before, everything was fine, everything was great, everything was grand, and then... Heckin' King had to go searching for power. Woke up the old one, the old one sends the fog. The fog sends the demons. So, everything was great and everything was grand, and then fog, demons, wife and daughter got separated. Thomas found himself in the Nexus, you know, assumedly. Uh, assume they're probably dead, let's just say that. Maybe we'll find out more later. Uh, so he's, you know, he's not the bravest, but he'll do, he'll do what he can. He'll do what he can. And, uh, <laughs> literally his nickname is Stockpile Thomas, so this game has a carry weight mechanic where not only, like in Dark Souls, where you can only, like, equip a certain amount of stuff before you start to get really slow and sluggish, you can't carry, you can only carry a certain amount of stuff as well, like Skyrim. Over encumbrance is in Demon Souls. Now this is the one thing I really hope that they change. The one thing I, I, I hope they get rid of over encumbrance because obviously this is great to have somewhere to store your stuff but to have to use it is a pain in the bum. Um, but yeah so you can deposit stuff there with him. Um, you have, obviously it's all neatly organized which I really like. I really like this menu. I don't know why. I think it's because it's like when you get to like when you're going for the platinum and you're like right i need a curved sword you can be like oh there's a katana like it's all sort of separated uh, i need a thrusting sword boom rapier uh heckin halberd mace spear crossbow etc <laughs> uh but, but, but these guys are all spirits no if you look at them they they do still have their human form they're not corporeal yet when the scourge came i abandoned my wife and daughter and fled like a madman. When I came to, I was in the Nexus. I haven't dared venture outside these walls since. I wish I could do more, but I am ignorant of the world beyond these walls. If only you knew, Thomas, the world is pretty scary right now. I'm not sure if he says any more. That candle maiden cared for me during my first days in the Nexus. She says very little, but has a kind heart. She's just the age my young daughter would have been. The poor, poor girl, trapped here with her eyes occluded by wax. If only something could be done to help her. So, obviously a lot of what he's saying doesn't really make sense, because we haven't really had a good look at the Maiden in Black yet, but yeah, she does have sort of like wax over her eyes. She's young enough looking anyway she's not actually young she's like eternal <laughs> thrifty says so what is the nexus so the nexus is basically it's kind of if you think of it like a purgatory where it's the place that connects the real world with the world of the old one the old one is like a He's not a god, because God like sort of made the old one, made Baltaria, made all that. He's like he's like an ancient one, like a like like a god, but not a god. <laughs> um, so he, yeah, the Nexus links the world of the humans with the world of the demons, basically. It also functions as a a hub, demigod kinda kind of like that it acts as a hub it acts as so they have these uh they have these arch stones that connect it to the rest of the world basically lore wise it binds your soul to the world <gasps> that is a very good way of, of describing it it binds yeah it's the hub world in the game but lore wise it binds your soul to the world yeah oh so he's talking about the maiden in black there if only yeah so that's him done um so, we also have Blacksmith Baldwin. So this guy's great, he's grumpy. You can kind of tell he's like sort of, um... 
differently statured to the rest of the guys. That's because he kind of is descendant from the burrowers. <gasps> mm. You new here? You here for my services? The name's Baldwin. Just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons or forge ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, huh? I like that. He's like, oh, give me souls. I'll make a living. And then with my weapons, you can go on living. <laughs> So Baldwin is one of two blacksmiths in this game. There are only two. He can repair stuff, obviously, upgrade stuff. He cannot handle boss souls, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he also sells stuff, like he sells grass, he sells spice. We haven't come across any fresh spice yet. Fresh spice is a sweet smelling spice which soothes the soul. Recovers some of the user's MP. It's used by royalty as a luxury and by the magician as a necessity. So as you use spells, you use MP, you can use spice to recover it. Uh, he's got various weapons here. Heat or shield would be cool. Since it's easy to handle, its use is widespread, especially amongst the soldiers of the church. Yeah, heat or shield is, um, it's also got high like, oh, it should have high magic block, but it doesn't look like it does. Huh. It doesn't obviously Dark Souls. Uh, and we can upgrade stuff here, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Perhaps you've already heard, but there's another blacksmith at the entrance of Stonefang Mine. He's an eccentric old man, but he knows his trade well. He's the only sane one left in a town of soul starved me. If you do meet him, yeah, well, forget it. That stubborn old the well will just ignore you. Certainly sounds like he's talking about his, uh, younger brother, right? <laughs> yeah, so Ed and Baldwin are brothers. There aren't enough blacksmiths in this temple to handle all the work. Only certain ores can be used to forge weapons, but you just have to make do. And be thankful that I'm still of good health. Yeah, so basically not just any ore can upgrade stuff. We need sharp stone, hard stone, etc. So that kind of hints that Certain weapon upgrades need certain ores. There's so many different types of ores in this game. Like Dark Souls 1. They fixed that with Dark Souls 2. They made it a bit more simple and then simpler again in 3. Be thankful that I'm still of good health. I mean, I'm very thankful, Baldwin. Very no thankful. Eh? I can tell you're not gonna last long here. I like that. He's so sarcastic. He's like, you didn't upgrade your weapon. Enjoy dying. <laughs> Um, okay, so, nothing left to do. Oh, hang on, no, there's, um, there's someone around here. Here we go. So why are you hiding way back here? I've forgotten her name. Oh, my. How has this happened? Has God abandoned us for failing to show proper respect to King Alant? Oh, Mbasa. <laughs> I'm not 100%, but I think, obviously they say Umbasa is in, like, I'm not sure if Umbasa is the name of the god or if Umbasa kind of just means, oh my god, like they're they're like praying to God, they say Umbasa. <laughs> but um, yeah, so basically this whole thing started with King Alant sort of like getting a bit bored, getting a bit pissed off with some peace and quiet and this whole thing started because he went searching for soul power, so. Oh, Umbasa. Oh, Umbasa. So she's sort of lamenting over there. Um, there are various NPCs we can meet, bring them to the hub worlds, and then we can get to know them. Uh, there are sorcerers that can teach us sorceries, etc. Uh, and so on. Heckin' medical workers, those kind of people, and they kind of like hang about around here. Um, so I lovingly, I think it's pretty wide, widespread, like, you can kind of refer to these worlds as like world one, two three, four, and five. Each world has three to four uh, sub areas in it. So if you hear me say, right, we're going to one, 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 two, one, 
three, one, four, one, five, one. That's what I'm talking about. Um, but for this, we'll say we're going to Boletarian Palace. So this archstone connects to Boletarian Palace, a huge stone castle in the heart of the northern kingdom of Boletaria. Hungry soldiers whose souls have been stolen by demons attack trespassers and terrible dragons nest there. Uh, so like I mentioned before, because the demons are kicking about taking all the souls, it kind of leaves the body hollow and the hollow soldiers attack people. It's the same in Dark Souls. Lore wise, why is your hair green? I am a, I'm a punk adventurer. Lore wise, there's no lore. I just wanted to stand out. <laughs> uh, everything else is sealed to start. So there's literally no way you can possibly go the wrong way. You can only go to Baltarian Palace. I want to make a cocoa chili now. Sounds amazing. Uh, Sage Freak, so he was mentioned earlier in the in the intro. He's, he's, he's pretty cool. He's pretty sweet, I guess. He does uh, sorceries, if I'm not mistaken. The second stone. Oh, not bad. You yeah, did decently. This, this game, some parts are really easy and some parts are really hard. The areas more so than the bosses, I'd say. Welcome to Boletarian Palace. 